What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel and also welcome back to another ab dilation video. You guys have loved this one so much. I know you have so I have another one for you. We have 10 movements, one minute each. It's going to be incredible and no equipment required other than your yoga mat. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a 10 second countdown for you and we're going to get going. Let's start on our back. We're going to start with a single leg tabletop drop. So we're gonna come up right here. Ooh, in a 90 degree position with the legs, hands behind the nape of the neck. We're gonna go single leg drop and down. Single leg tabletop drop and down. Just like that. You know what? I'm feeling like making it a little bit harder. Let's just do one side and then we'll switch to the other side in the second minute. I know, I know. Leave it to me to make it more advanced because why not? Honestly, making sure that you're exhaling when you bring that knee back up, you should feel your, your, your lower abs a lot when you do this. That's the main focus, but you're also feeling your upper abs because we have the shoulder blades lifted off of the mat, which is always nice. Making sure that we're not straining the neck, about like a fist difference or like an apple distance in between your, your chin and your chest. Just the fingertips behind the nape of the neck, <sighs> making sure that we're not pulling in any way. And then we also want to make sure that we're lifting the shoulder blades. It's not just the head. We're not down here. We're lifting the, all, both shoulder blades up. Ooh, we're gonna switch sides, ready? Switch. <laughs> we have to do it for another minute. Not me regretting making it harder. <laughs> Honestly, you need a modification, you lay the head down. Totally fine. It's just when you lay the head down, that takes the upper abs out of the equation, which is totally fine, but that means that you need to focus on activating your lower abs even more. Making sure that the elbows are super wide so we're not here. <sighs> oh yeah, shaky, shaky. If you're not shaking, you're not doing it right. <laughs> 30 more seconds, point the toes. You do not have to drop as low as I am as well. You can go at like a 45 degree angle if you're feeling your hips at all. Oh man, upper abs are dying, and that's okay because we're gonna focus more on the lower abs on the next one. <sighs> breathe for me, breathe. It's important to breathe. <laughs> Two, one, and oh my gosh. Okay, Animalia tap back. So we are on all fours. Animalia is an interesting movement. So we're gonna lift the knees just two inches off of the mat, no more than two inches. We're gonna go tap back, in, tap back, in. I have so many Animalia, like versions of Animalia to do. It's insane and they're all killer and to be honest, I hate Animalia, but I do them because they're killer and I know that they're gonna kill your abs. So, you know, I'm a little sadistic and um, very nice, nice like that. That's just me, <sighs> me being torturous. Okay, let's check our form real quick. Wrists under the shoulders, knees just two inches above the mat. We don't want this, okay? What we also don't want is for our hands to be way up here. I see this a lot from uh, when I was teaching Pilates. So what we need is right here, tap. Whoo! It was always in the Animalia when people would be doing this in my class when I was teaching in person. Good, and drop. So we are going into a bird dog crunch. So we're gonna take opposite arm, opposite leg, in for a crunch, and lift. So this is not only abs here, this is also booty and a little bit of back. So we're feeling abs right here at the bottom, crunch, and then we lift, you're gonna feel booty and back right there. Crunch. So it's like kind of a rest for your abs and it's kind of not at the same time. Or at least this, this right here is a little bit of a stretch. So that's nice at least. So we're gonna exhale when we crunch and lift. Good, we're almost there. Woo, we're doing a full minute on each side. Very good. Very nice. Okay, making sure. Wrist right under the shoulder. Again, again, I see so many students trying to do this. And I'm like, honestly, you're making your job easier. It's easier to balance. If your wrist is under your shoulder, knee under the hip, let's switch sides. We're gonna come in and lift. Whew. Okay, fresh booty cheek, that feels better. <laughs> lift. Oh man, feeling the obliques. Feeling the abs as well. Woo! And exhale when you come in. Good. I kind of have my toes curled up back here. It kind of acts as a little kickstand for me. 
to help me balance a little, but honestly, the balance is gonna come right from your core. People that have bad balance, I'm like, mm, you need to work your core more. And that means not just abs, that also means your back. Your back is a part of your core as well as your booty is a part of your core. So if you strengthen all of those, your balance gets better. And that's why I love to focus on core so much. Good, almost there. And then we can actually switch to a different movement finally. <laughs> but the next one, it's a little advanced. So don't feel bad if you need to take the modification. We're all at our own levels here. Okay, we are flipping over for a boat crunch. So we're gonna go here. You ready? Lift, oh yes, and back. When I would teach this one, people would look at me like, how is she doing that? I'm telling you, it's a little bit of the arms, so you come around, pop your chest forward at the top, and back down, all the way down. Arms up. The arms, honestly, you don't have to come around like I do, but I think of it like scooping up my legs. <laughs> That's just me. You can bring them forward if you want. Just make sure that you're not just using momentum, so you're not throwing the momentum up when you try to lift. I think that coming around just also makes that look pretty. And down, exhale, lift. Good, almost there. Ooh, shaking, hello. Yes, I love it. I know, I'm one of those sick people that just, that just love a good shake in the abs, that just love abs in general. And last one, good. Plank knee in, we are flipping back over into plank. Yes, it's more planks, leave me alone. So we're gonna go here, plank knee in, in, a little bit of a distance in between your feet. Again, wrist stacked right underneath the shoulders and keeping the lower abs specifically really tight. A lot of people don't feel like plank, planks involve abs, which like, yes, absolutely. Your plank should come straight from your core. So a lot of people will feel shoulders on this. A lot of people will feel hip flexors. And I'm like, if you're feeling either of those, you need to flex your abs more. Suck your belly button into your spine. Just make sure that you're not hunched. Chest forward and make sure that your butt is not hanging out up here. I see that a lot in my class too. In, exhale when that knee comes in. Feeling those obliques for sure, that's a nice crunch. Think about bringing rib cage into hip bones. Close that gap. Whew, we're almost done with this one. Three more movements. We're gonna flip back over for a crisscross. So we're gonna go here. I know, lots of flipping back and forth, but I'll keep you on your toes. Oh, so we're gonna go here, opposite shoulder, opposite knee. And I'm going to stress that a little bit because I see a lot of elbow to knee and then they're not twisting their chest at all. So I need you to lift your shoulder blade off of the mat and lift your shoulder blade off the mat on the other one. And twist. Whew. That is a killer one. If you're feeling a little spicy, you can straighten the legs and make it an advanced crisscross because I mean, you know, why not? We're just gonna die together today and it's totally fine. Lift, oh my God, dying, dying. Okay, two more movements. Two more movements and that's it. Unfortunately, the next one is a forearm plank. And I'm upset because I get bored just doing planks. I like to change it up. I know there's like a plethora of Pilates movements in my head. And when I just have something that I have to hold, I'm like, boring. Let's flip back over, forearm plank. So we're gonna come here and hold. Yes, we are holding for a full minute. Yep, there's just a random forearm plank hold for a minute, right smack dab near the end of your workout because I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Who made this workout, honestly? <laughs> it was me. Anyway, making sure that our butt is not hanging out up in the air like this. Also making sure that we're not sagging. I do see that. Sometimes they got a little seal going on. We don't want that, okay? So right in the middle, belly button to spine. Focus on those lower abs. You're gonna feel shoulders a little bit, not bringing the hands together. Uh-uh, that makes it easier. Hands apart, I see that a lot too. Whoo, no rounding in the chest. Chest nice and up, forward. <sighs> hold, hold, hold. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, I made the last move. Modified, you're welcome. Modified side plank hip dips. So we're gonna go here on the side, shoulder over the, the elbow. Lift, one knee bent as a little kickstand. Other one just hanging out. Dip, lift. Just doing 30 seconds on each side and then you're done with this workout. That's what's up. <sighs> Lift, feeling the pinch happening in between your ribs and your hip bones right there on the bottom. 
Think about pushing your obliques up to the ceiling or up to the sky if you're outside. You can go hand here, you can go hand here, totally up to you. For me, on a modified one, I like to leave my hand on my hip. Let's switch sides. Woo! Quick switch and lift and dip. Very good, okay, this is it. This is the last 30 seconds and then you're done. Whew. I know, 10 minutes seems like nothing and then you start this workout and it's the longest 10 minutes of your entire life. <laughs> Or at least for me, it kind of feels like it. I don't know about you, but for me it does. Okay, squeeze, 10 seconds, almost there. Ooh, three, two, one. Woo, that's it. Ha! Yes, I love that one. Love it so much. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Make sure that you like the video to support my channel. And I want you to comment down below which movement was your favorite or by that, I mean tortured you the most. Just let me know down below, and maybe I will totally 100% include that in the next workout. Maybe I won't. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you share it with your friends. Okay, bye!